kids leaving school this afternoon to the low 90s, kind of in and out of some occasional cloud cover. Uh, but the wind is pretty calm, should remain under 10 miles per hour uh, through our Wednesday afternoon. Dry weather is expected, so even in between the clouds, we'll be able to warm up uh, to about 94 today in Las Vegas. Uh, we'll say 84 in Searchlight, 95 in Laughlin, uh, 88 in Prim, and some of these communities down in the southern part of Clark County uh, this evening into the first half of tonight uh, could catch a couple of showers, maybe even a few thunder showers. That storm system uh, that brought severe weather to much of Arizona on Monday, it also delivered some scattered thunder showers here to Las Vegas. Well, that storm system drifted down toward Yuma. It is now on the way back to the north, and that's why we'll have to watch the radar for the chance of a passing shower after dark. Can't completely rule that out in Las Vegas as we look ahead toward midnight. It's a little more likely for us, I think, early Thursday morning. And uh, between me and you, I'm much more impressed with the rain and the storm chances from Prim and Jean down through Searchlight, down toward Laughlin. Uh, folks around Lake Mojave will need to really watch the weather uh, tonight uh, through the day on Thursday. Now that said, we can't rule out a passing shower or thunder shower here in Las Vegas because the storm systems moving at us from the south. It would be areas down toward West Henderson, uh, Boulder City that would have a little better chance than up on the north side around Centennial. Hills, but we'll be keeping an eye on the radar through our Thursday. The coverage though Thursday midday into the afternoon is kind of sparse and spotty at best. I think tonight into tomorrow morning. That's when we'll need to keep a close eye on the radar temperatures in between those clouds tonight and the potential for a shower or thunder shower temperatures should drop down to about 70 degrees now, tomorrow. Even though we're not looking at a washout, uh, we are expecting plenty of clouds as the system pivots over southern Nevada one more time before leaving by the end of the week. So temperatures tomorrow will be noticeably lower in the 80s. Now the breezes looking ahead to Friday and the weekend will pick up. That's actually an entirely different weather system coming into the west coast, and that's going to get the wind going, especially this weekend. Some 35 mile per hour gusts Saturday. Some 30 mile per hour gusts Sunday into Monday that stirs up the pollen, medium pollen levels, mainly ragweed out there the next couple of days. Hopefully uh, this slim rain chance that we've got late tonight through Thursday uh, might lower those pollen levels a bit by the end of the week. Dana, the wind this weekend also accompanied by some much more pleasant temperatures. 80 Saturday, upper 70s, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and that'll come alongside some overnight lows in the 50s starting Sunday night.